Every person's life lasts from childhood to old age. This is our way of life and no one can deviate from it unless the gods call him to them ahead of time. That's why I say that a person should prepare to receive a decent income in the coming days when his youth passes and take care of the well-being and support of his family when he is no longer with them. This lesson will teach you to have a full wallet ready for the times when you will no longer be able to learn anything. Arkad addressed the students on the sixth day with these words. A person who has accumulated money and understands the laws of wealth growth should always think about the future. He must plan some investments or reserves that will last for many years when the time comes which he managed to think about in a timely manner. There are different ways to ensure a secure future. You can find a secluded place and secretly bury your savings there. However, no matter how carefully you hide them, they can become the prey of thieves. Therefore, I do not advise going this way. You can buy yourself a lot of houses and land. If they are correctly selected and retain their value in the future, then the income from them or the proceeds from their sale can serve well for these purposes. You can give a small amount to a loan shark and replenish it regularly. Together with the interest, it can grow significantly in the future. I know a shoemaker named Anson, who recently told me that every week for eight years he gave two silver coins to a pawnbroker. The other day, the pawnbroker summed up the results and it turned out to be very comforting. Taking into account the usual increase of a quarter every four years, he had already accumulated 1,040 silver coins. I encouraged him even more by calculating that if he had made the same regular contributions of two coins a week for another 12 years, the pawnbroker would have been able to pay him 4,000 in silver and this is enough to live with dignity until death. If even such small contributions result in such a profit then everyone is simply obliged to provide himself with prosperity for old age and protect for the family, regardless of how profitable his business is. I think that something else should be added to what has been said. In my heart I am sure that one day some wise person will come up with such a way of death insurance when all people will regularly pay small amounts throughout their lives and as a result around some will be obtained for the family of the deceased. I would very much like this but today it is impossible because such persuasions should last longer than any money lender will live. This transaction should be as long lasting and reliable as the royal throne. I feel that one day these plans will come to life and it will be a boon for many people because even the smallest down payment will already give the right for the whole family to receive a fortune if one of its members dies. But since we live in our own time and not in the future, we must use the means and ways that are available to us today. Therefore, I advise everyone to think about how to insure your wallet in old age. After all, otherwise, if a person can no longer earn his bread or the family will be left without a breadwinner, a big disaster can happen. And here is the sixth medicine for a skinny wallet. Take care of your needs in advance and protect your family in case of old age.